Hey everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be comparing Wix and WordPress. This will help you determine the best platform for building your website or online store. I'll be doing that by breaking down how Wix and WordPress differ across a variety of factors. And hopefully this will provide you with the knowledge needed to make an informed decision tailored to your unique needs and skill level. So without much further ado, let's get right into the video. So kicking things off, let's examine the critical website design and theme capabilities offered through Wix and WordPress. For design, Wix provides over 800 professionally crafted templates spanning different industries, styles, and site types. This makes it easy to visually match the look and feel that you're going for out of the gate. I especially like their portfolio and photography themes, but overall, no matter your niche, Wix likely has beautifully made designs to meet your needs, whether building a blog, store, portfolio, or brochure sites. Lots of customization potential too, while retaining ease of use. In addition, you can leverage Wix ADI, which automatically creates website designs using AI based on your vision. You will simply answer a few questions about your style preferences, content focus area, long-term goals, and Wix ADI will generate tailored templates so that you can choose from. Now on the WordPress side, they provide even more design flexibility through access to over 9,000 free themes to install on your site. The wealth of options here is definitely superior. You can browse and filter WordPress themes by features, layout, industry application, design style, and other attributes to pinpoint options matching your vision. And the best part is that installation takes just a few clicks. I would recommend exploring themes on marketplaces like ThemeForest, which offers lots of quality commercial themes at affordable one-time prices. And the depth of selection truly can't be beat. Now, a strategic advantage that WordPress holds over Wix here is the ability to easily change the different themes later on without losing any underlying content. However, if you're doing it with Wix, it requires starting 100% fresh if you want to change the site design down the road. So when it comes to customization freedom and flexibility evolving visuals over the long term, WordPress certainly has the edge. But still, Wix excels for quick site launches, choose wisely based on your own priorities. Moving on, we're going to be evaluating key differences in the page builders and customization tools offered across both platforms. For Wix, they make the website creation process incredibly straightforward through their intuitive drag and drop editor. You simply drag elements like text boxes, buttons, images, and more right onto your page through your web browser. Reordering content or making adjustments is equally simple, no coding skills or prior experience required. And this appeals greatly to beginners who want to minimize technical complexity when launching their first website. You are restricted to customizing what functionality and templates Wix provides access to, but that selection will likely satisfy most people's needs as long as they don't expect too much niche specialization. Now in contrast, WordPress offers a vastly more expansive playground for customization, although one requiring slightly steeper learning and skills. At its core, WordPress provides a flexible block editor system that lets you build pages and content from the ground up using a Lego-like approach. You add blocks of different types, paragraphs, images, columns, buttons, and all of that, reshuffling them until you perfect the layout. Advanced users can then further modify elements by tapping into WordPress's full site editing capabilities for ultimate control. You gain access to tweak any display aspect imaginable, colors, spacing, animations, functionality, you just name it. And I haven't even touched on plugins and APIs that unlock even greater possibilities like the forums, membership portals, the interactive features, and so many more that can be woven right into your site. For those willing to progress across WordPress's learning curve, near endless customization awaits. But casual users may still prefer Wix's simplicity, so choose what aligns best to your own skills and needs. Now, another area where Wix and WordPress differ quite substantially is the e-commerce landscape. When it comes to Wix, you will need to upgrade to more expensive premium or even the business plans to unlock e-commerce features, rather limiting for bootstrapped entrepreneurs or small operations. However, Wix does provide beautiful store template designs, endless visual customizations for branding, discounted shipping rates with the USPs, UPS, FedEx, all of that, automated tax calculations and seamless checkout and so much more. Just be mindful that you will incur a transaction fee per order processed. This definitely eats into profit margins quite substantially as sale volumes grow, so it's something to factor in. Now with WordPress, turning your existing site into an e-commerce store is entirely free through installation of the WooCommerce plugin. WooCommerce, when installed, empowers you to instantly start selling physical goods, digital downloads, variable products, the affiliate items, and more while retaining 100% ownership of profit margins with no sneaky transaction fees. This is a true open source e-commerce gateway. 
You can customize the store design using various Woo template kits tailored for different industries. So lots of built-in features like coupons, tax calculations, reporting, and more to streamline the management. And should you outgrow self-hosted WooCommerce down the road, WordPress enables seamlessly upgrading to managed e-commerce services as well. So you definitely have a lot of flexibility other platforms can't match. So if you see an online store in your future, WordPress paired with WooCommerce is likely the smarter pathway so that you can seize total control while enabling immense growth in the future. So to wrap up this video, I'm going to be sharing some closing thoughts. If you highly value stunning visual design coupled with easy drag and drop site building, then Wix simply can't be beat. You will be creating a polished site faster through their guided approach. However, for those who prioritize nearly limitless customization potential as skills grow over time, then the versatility of WordPress reigns supreme. Although we must mention the steeper initial learning curve, obviously. So carefully weigh your priorities and leverage that insight to guide your ultimate platform decision. Either way, you really can't go wrong. Both Wix and WordPress offer phenomenal tools for bringing your web presence to life. Thanks so much for watching this video. Let us know what you think of it in the comment section down below. And if you found today's video to be helpful or informative to watch, then give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any follow-up content that we can make related to this one.